Tim, the nature of time is perhaps, although it seems um, to common sense obvious uh, that it passes, is uh, one of the deep uh, questions that physicists ask about the nature of reality. Um, Einstein's um, uh, theories of relativity is at least interpreted as a so-called block universe where time is uh, the fourth dimension and uh, things in the past and the future are just as real, quote unquote, as things in the present. Um, to probe this, um, the question, uh, I, I like to look at time travel because it kind of puts stress on time to see what it's like. Now, time travel has been, you know, in, in science fiction all the time. People talk about it. But from a, a real physical point of view, if you use time travel and to really explore what it means, can that help us understand the deep reality of what time is? Um, I don't think so. So I know this is going to be an unpopular view. Um, I don't think, I think most of the talk about time travel just begs the questions you're interested in and therefore doesn't really enlighten you. So my own view, for example, is that time travel to the past isn't physically possible. It's inconsistent with the nature of time, which is what most people thought for quite a long time. Um, why, do, why is there so much talk about time travel? Well, you have some equations that are mathematical equations, and you can look at the set of solutions to those equations. And if you were to decide that every single solution to these mathematical equations corresponds to something that can happen physically, then you would get time travel. For example, in general relativity, you can have solutions that have closed time-like curves, but you can have very weird solutions um, to those equations which no physicist takes seriously as physical possibilities. Uh, so you have to ask yourself, what are the constraints that make a mathematical model a possible physical reality. And I personally think that, that having a closed time-like curve just shows you've got a mathematical model that doesn't correspond to something that could physically happen. Many physicists say that uh, many equations in physics, quantum mechanics, can, can equally go in both directions, and therefore they search desperately uh, for what causes the asymmetry of time, where we, clearly we only see it in one direction, unless time travel is true, which you say it's not. And certainly we have no evidence for it. You have these time travel days where they invite people from the future, nobody shows up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, no, we, we, we've, we've, we've seen that. And you wonder, maybe somebody will, but nobody ever does. <laughs> Uh, so, but 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 that, that's claim of physicists, and and frankly, in in uh, assessing uh, from my limited uh, exposure to lots of physicists, th there's been more of a trend uh, to to say that time doesn't pass in the way we we uh, traditionally think, and therefore there might be more possibilities because time is emergent, uh, time is uh, space time comes out of some deeper theory, uh, equations go in both directions. I mean, th there's a lot of of, uh, if not evidence, uh, independent thinking that leads one to at least take seriously the idea that what you said is not correct, that time um, may not be as uh, fundamental as it appears to be. Okay, so let me try and very quickly run through some of those. In the case of time travel, that is closed time-like curves, it's just a fact that in general relativity you can't make them if they're not already there. So this is unlike a black hole, where you might say, gee, a black hole, that's a strange thing predicted by general relativity. It's also the kind of thing that you can say, we could literally, given enough money in a lab, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should yeah. be able to create one of right, these things. Right. Time travel's not like that. You, you, there's no natural evolution in general relativity from a situation that doesn't involve these things to a situation that does. You just have to put them in by hand. There's another question that's in... Well, the, on that, what yeah. about the, 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 the wormholes in space? Now, that's in space, not in time, but, yeah. the, but the two are related in, in a sense. So if you could create through negative energy and all sorts of things, open a wormhole in space, and physicists have talked about the possibility of this, doesn't that also affect time? Wouldn't that also affect time? It depends on the structure of the wormholes. You'd, you, you may have wormholes that don't allow, don't have close no, sure, time-like No, sure, sure, but I'm saying the same principle, so. if that's in principle even possible, even though it's you know, extremely unlikely ever to be literally be able to do it. Um, uh, it. But that does seem to indicate that under some extreme conditions, you can do that. Well, take, 
as you say, you try and make a wormhole and keep it open and the physicists will tell you, oh, all I need is some exotic matter here <laughs> right, right. that has some properties that no actual known matter right. has. Correct, correct. Why should I think that's physically possible? <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Um, the other thing you're mentioning is the direction of time, which is independent of time travel. Yes, yes. Uh, and there, I think, uh, I, don't, I can't even imagine what it would mean to say that it's an illusion that time passes, that time has a directionality. I but, mean, but many of your friends say that. I, yeah, they say all kinds of things. <laughs> I, I, and they're still your friends? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, okay, well, what, what, what's their best argument? Tell me their best argument. One argument that's given that's gone a long time is you say, oh, I, I write down some laws of physics and they work well in both directions. Yeah, so they're so. time reversible. Right. Newtonian mechanics was like that. That didn't lead Newton to believe that time didn't pass. So you, you auto, aut automatically ought to ask, what's the relation between these equations being time reversible and saying there's actually no yeah, direction? But, but the fact that Newton didn't uh, make that as a conclusion doesn't prove that it's not there. I mean, a lot of people took Einstein's theories and developed the universe that, that, you know, from his theories. And yeah. the black holes and, and, and Schwarzschild and, you know, Friedman and a whole bunch of people took Einstein's equations and saw more in them than he did. Right. <laughs> I mean, I think, look, I think it's evident that time has a direction. I think whenever physicists make a mathematical model, they assume this is the future, that's the past, right? And if you turn their model upside down, they'd say, no, no, you're using it wrong if you do it that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the direction of time is so endemic to the way we think about the physical world that trying to even represent it without implicitly appealing to a direction of time is almost incomprehensible. So how, how do you, uh, now t time is part of space-time, uh, and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, that's uh, you know, a core principle of, mm -hmm. of, of, uh, of uh, relativity. So that being the case, um, time then seems to be emergent in some way uh, because space didn't always exist and so time didn't always exist. So if you can c well, control not, that. Time didn't always exist is a very funny it statement. Is, it is a very make, funny right? Right, right, right. <laughs> no, Of course, of course, of course. There of were course. some times in which time didn't exist. <laughs> right, it right, sounds right. like what you're saying. Which right, can't right. Be it, right. It, it, that's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that, yeah, that's just a self contradictory. I, I understand that. I understand that. So, so, but, but you have in relativity space and time stuck to uh, not not stuck together being the same thing i no i disagree i don't think that's true i don't think that's ever been true if you look at a space time the time directions in space time are fundamentally different than the space directions that's why you have a light cone right that has a future and right. past part and you can't smoothly go from the future directing ones to the past directing ones the space-like directions you can smoothly go from any space-like direction to any other but time-like directions essentially divide into two classes. And that corresponds to there being two directions of time. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a structure that time has that space doesn't. And the implications for time travel then are This is zilch. not about time travel. Yeah. This is just about whether time is a direction. In normal time travel, you're in a, some sense always going forward in time even though you manage to come back to where you started, just as I can continue to go east and always go east, but nonetheless end up here. So, so directionality of time, whatever the physics are, are that are, is not related to whether or not there is time, could be time travel. It's not related in that direct way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but if time c could be reversible, in, 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 would that give you, if, if you're wrong about the, the, the core physics, if time is uh, not fundamental and could reverse itself under certain conditions, would that change the logic of time travel per se? Sure. I mean, the, the, the only way that people talk about time travel in contemporary physics coming out of general relativity is in terms of closed time-like curves. And that's not a matter of taking time and reversing its direction. Okay. Okay. It's a matter of always going into future light cones, always into future light cones, always into future light cones, but ending up where you began. So that's a topological feature. Um, what, what it would mean to reverse the direction of time, I have really no idea. <laughs>